Well, it was a triple murder that shocked the community in Kamloops, B.C. Uh, today, the man accused of killing his own children uh, pleaded not guilty. Alan Schoenborn was arrested 10 days after the bodies of, her, of his children were found. Uh, disturbing details beginning to emerge about uh, the murders themselves. And as Alan Waterman explains, the Crown is suggesting that Schoenborn deliberately planned them. What police found inside the, the trailer in, in Merritt was uh, his 10-year-old daughter. She'd been stabbed uh, multiple times. He found uh, uh, her younger brothers, her 8- and 5-year-old brothers, suffocated on the family couch, huddled together. So that's what the police stumbled across when they entered this, this trailer. And so it's an uh, it's, uh, interesting contention that, that it was planned and alleged. And, and defense doesn't seem to have much of a problem with much of these facts that are being put on the table. Such things as we heard a, a police officer today uh, say that she was in the back of the ambulance uh, after the murders with the mother, Darcy Clark, and she's screaming continuously, my babies, my babies. She, suge she suggested herself that Alan Schoenberg may have been involved, and she said he may be paranoid schizophrenic, and that's what this case truly revolves around. Defense is likely going to contend that there were, was a mental disorder, and that's truly what they're looking at in this case. So it's a fight on as to whether there is a mental disability involved here, and that's where the killings arise from. We're expected to hear several people hit the stand, according to uh, Crown, who allege that Alan Schoenberg, in, in essence, confessed to them after the killings that he was involved, that he, he was the man who was responsible for the deaths of his three children. So we'll hear from that. We'll also hear from the mother, Darcy Clark, and she's going to describe how she came upon that.